The partial government shutdown is about to enter its third week. 22 News reporter Taylor Knight is working for you to find out how the shutdown could impact this year's tax season and, more importantly, your refund. 65% of employees at the Internal Revenue Service are not working right now due to the partial government shutdown. Tax filing season usually begins mid to late January, but because of the shutdown, the IRS hasn't announced a date yet. CPA and tax attorney Paul Mancinoni told 22 News this could be problematic because of massive changes made to tax laws that went into effect in 2018. Some software, for example mine, isn't calculating a few things quite the way I anticipated as I studied throughout the year. Who do you call for clarification on that? There's nobody to call. Live telephone assistance is not available at this time. The IRS may bring back some workers to process tax returns, but actually issuing refunds could be delayed if the shutdown continues because the funding for them wouldn't be available. Upset. Why Upset because like, I work hard. Every, I'm saying like if I don't get my tax return, I'm, I'm going to be tight. Mancinoni said people should still file their tax returns when they receive all the necessary paperwork like those W-2s, even though processing could take a while. Remember, they will have a tremendous backlog before they can get back up to speed. You will also be able to file an extension on your taxes during the shutdown, and if you owe money to the government, it's still due by April 15th, shutdown or not. In Springfield, Taylor Knight, 22 News.